Hello and welcome to Kraftwerk and the demo today um, is again of the greenhouse uh, effects pedals. This is a really weird one so I'm struggling a bit on how to review this. This is called the self-titled and the reason it's called the self-titled is because you can actually interchange it. So um, basically the way it arrives is again in a wonderful little box um, in a lovely little bag um, but it comes with something extra uh, it comes with a screwdriver <laughs> and this little magic and the reason is you can open this guy up and you can interchange the guts. Um, so this is basically, this pedal doesn't do anything. It's got three knobs on it, um, but otherwise it doesn't do anything. You've got to actually, um, it's, it's basically a base. So um, what you're supposed to be doing is get, get yourself a Wii module. This is the distortion module or the tremolo module. Uh, these are the two that I got. So uh, the idea is you open the Wii box and inside the box, you will find the actual circuitry um, for the effect. So the one I've got open is the distortion and I think what we'll do is we'll show you how this guy is put in and we'll also give this guy a shot. So without further ado I'm doing this for the first time so that we can see how fiddly it actually is. So excuse me. Um, before we do that, let's quickly have a read of what it says about the self-titled. So here we are. The self-titled modular pedal, a true analog modular pedal that allows you to change its circuitry and transform it from distortion to a tremolo to a booster to a fuzz and more. Features true bypass with relay switching and standby switching. Actually, that's right, I actually saw another video. Um, this is not your standard switch. This is one of those switches where um, you push it down and it's not engaged. It only engages when you pull it off. Now, I've actually not played this one, so I, I might, uh, I'll, I'll check it out later. Um, but the whole idea is that um, instead of pushing the, the button when you want to um, initiate the effect, you actually can depress it and kind of... Uh, wait for it, wait for it, and there you go. So, um, anyway, let's quickly see if we can put this distortion module in and um, uh, and get on with it. So, screws, from the looks of it, these have to be loosened. Uh, and then we've got to take the screws out. Um, this is all happening in real time, so please... Um, Be patient, because I am well quite interested to see how well this works. This is quite a small little screwdriver, but it's a freebie, so don't complain. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, as they say. Um, again, if you look at the construction of this uh, case, it is exactly like all the other. Um, really nice metal casing, a little bit different from the ones that you're used to um, they really, the whole pedal oozes quality, the, the feeling of the dials, the knobs <laughs> knobs, um, everything, it's really um, it's a really nice feel to it, everything, very quality feel right, and we're open Okay, that wasn't too hard. So here's the guts of the thing. Um, that's the greenhouse effects. There you go. This looks like a really nice bolt. So anyway, let's quickly see if there... Which way around does this guy go? Oh, okay, very good. So it's got a little um, marker saying this side up, which obviously is very useful because if it wasn't there, I would probably be in trouble right about now. And it just slots in. Okay. Well, that feels that feels more than sturdy enough. The way it's going in there. Um, 
Right, now, one thing's coming to mind, and although I like to be nothing but positive about the reviews, um, I do believe that it would be a better idea if you don't have to... Buddha. It would probably be a better idea if you don't have to unscrew the thing, if there was some sort of latch that you could just open up. I'm assuming that would make things a little bit more complicated. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to screw in two, just so we have some sturdiness. And then I think we'll get this guy from some sound samples, won't we? I think that's a good idea. So anyway, from the looks of it, on the website there's definitely more information about this, but it looks as if um, the options for the self-title are distortion, tremolo, booster, fuzz, um, yeah. So, I have got a suspicion that the circuitry is the same as their actual own um, distortion pedals. And, um, right, let's waste no time but to listen to this guy. Okay, so let's get a. This is the clean sound. Let's get a bit cleaner. So, and this is so the greenhouse effect self titled with the distortion module inside. Now, this is what I wanted to illustrate about the button. See, it's depressed, but it's still not on. I have to actually leave it easy for it to I, um, I actually like that very much. Um, I'm absolutely not used to it, and it's probably... It's actually probably something to get used to, but um, I can see... logic behind it. It's something where, especially if you're anticipating a lead, you want to cut into something at a specific time, uh, you can build yourself up for it, you put your foot on the on the, uh, on the the button and boom, you go for it. So I, I've, I, think I, I think I can understand that. So let me just understand, there are no um, marked knob yeah, and that's probably because obviously um, you're going to have different modules inside so they will change depending on which module is in it. I've got a suspicion that this one is level. Oh, I think that's game. That's tone. And that's level. So that's level, gain, and, and tone. So let's give it some welly. Well, I must say. 